Gotta take the sp spindle off. Gotta take ball joints off. But then he, first, before that, I took out the uh, speed sensor here. Speed sensor. Tells your ABS what's going on. This is a magnetic piece here. It uses fluctuations in uh, electromagnetivity. Show you that it's magnetic. You can see that or not, but it's magnetic. It goes up. This is own thing. Again, it screws in where that screw is. I took the uh, took the axle out to get to here. See, the axle goes in that hole. It's got little splines. It has a U joint. It's got what Mr. What the instructor called this uh, interrupter, disruptor, or something like that. What goes on there is this piece goes on like so, and that is a thick washer. It has a uh, another nut. See ya, bro. It's a spring washer, I think that was what he called it. So, this deal. Yeah. What was it the other way? No, there's nothing there, so. And then you put your pin. So if the camera sucks, through this hole, the hole in, in the, uh, I think it's a stud, that's what you call it. Yeah. Keep everything organized. Don't lose nothing. Since I'm going to put this back together soon later, I'm going to keep those on. What's up, Mr. Daniel? Stuff. Just showing these YouTubers what I've been doing. It's more interesting than me just doing nothing on YouTube. Let's check on there. Is this right? Let's take that on there. And then you take your pin, or whatever you call it. Stick it to the hole. Yeah, it's probably right. Yeah, that would be of great assistance. Uh, there's the hole. I'm just gonna kind of plop it in there for now. I think you need new pens every time, right? Yeah. Yeah, you need new pens. That's on there. Well, first you put this, if you're going to reassemble, on there. It's like a dust shield. It's common sense, idiot proof. After that, put this on there. Yeah. And then your rotor. Put your caliper on. But right now I'm disassembling, getting a ball joint off. First time, bro. Never done it before. Freaking hungry, dude. Yeah. Attempt to remove all joints. First, I'm going to remove the nut. The bottom.
This holds the speed sensor, bro. Uh, put this back on. There you go. What are you doing? Recording how you're taking it apart? Uh, yeah. Yeah, bro. Nasty cob cobwebs. Excuse me. Cobwebs. These threads are all freaking rusty. Put it back on there. Really that bolt out. I think we need to knock. Not on the joint, but anything it goes into. So it's a steering knuckle. What? This is longer than I thought it would be. Yeah. Tell me so I don't drop it. You serious, dude? Yeah. I just need to grab the bar. I didn't have a very good grip on it. I didn't want to lose it. Oh. They all came out in one piece. So I was like, oh shit. Wow, yeah, that the right side, left side of the car's axle was so much shorter. It's because you got the, the diff, whatever the fuck the thing is called. Oh, the, whatever the fuck you think it's called. Yeah. Spindle thing. Yeah, well, well I guess you just, according to Mr. Bailey, you just hit it, so. I heard him, right? Let's cool it out of the way. Don't break it. Alright, yeah, this is your steering knuckle. This is your spin wheel. That's good news. That's what I want. Bolt. Put the nuts back on to protect the threads. Students have hit the threads on accident. Uh, Wait till the afternoon trying to fix it. Careful. I really don't want to hit this on accident or something. I don't know. There's gotta be something wrong. I'm gonna get the instructor because this doesn't seem right. You sure you don't want to be on world famous videos, Mr. Bailey? You sure? Oh, okay. Well, this is the spindle. I got it off. But I was right, you do hammer it there. There's your ball joint. And this thing kind of just. Bottom one. Try to get a view. Two spindle. Can I just put it on the hole? And the top one goes on top. It's pretty simple. If you can't figure it out, don't become a mechanic. Yeah, set that aside. Alright. See, it looks a little. So as your steering and suspension movements. Now, next step. I think he wants us to remove the ball joints. Educational for you, Andy. Hey, brake caliper. All right. According to the instructor. There's a tool that sits up here and there's a screw and it pushes it up. But we don't really have that kind of stuff here, so he told me to put it back together. So I guess we'll do that together. Well, unfortunately, I ran out of class time to show you the rest. But uh, I hope that. What I've shown you is educational and helps you understand how to remove the spindle. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Work safe.